Hello guys, this is Prompt Engineer and today we are going to look at how to integrate Langchain with Gmail. So as a user, you're going to insert your prompt in a natural language. For example, please write me a mail to a fellow scholar. So the, the chain that we are going to use is Gmail API. So we are going to get the authentication from Gmail first and then we are going to use the LLMs in this example, we are going to use OpenAI and then we are going to send requests and instructions to the Gmail, to your Gmail and then we are going to get the mail sent uh, just using this beautiful chain. So let's get started with the code. Now this is from the Langchain Gmail toolkit. I've used uh, this uh, toolkit for developing this uh, simple chain. Now let's move on to the code. I am using the uh, Visual Studio code editor here. So the first step is to get the JSON file from this link. So we're going to go to developers.google.com and from there we're going to go to the credentials. You're going to go to the API services, the credentials, and we are going to create a credential for the OAuth 2.0 client IDs. Now, as you can see, I have a Gmail API a client, which is already created. Now you can create a new client for you uh, by this link, create credentials and OAuth uh, client ID. Just click here and then you're going to have to select the type of services that you want. In this case, we are going to select desktop app. We're going to give a name here and then we're going to create, click on create. So desktop client 2 is the name and this is the client IDs and all details. And you're going to download the JSON here. And then we are going to use this JSON uh, for doing the automation. Now I'm going to delete this because I've already created that. Delete. Now we are going to use the <clears throat> previous one, which is Gmail API. I've already downloaded the uh, JSON file into my working folder. So this is the working folder and I've downloaded this uh, credentials or JSON. Now let's move back to the code. This is my working folder. Let's move back to the code. The next step is we need to install these. We have installed uh, we have installed Google API Python client, Google Auth, OAuth lib, Google Auth HTTP lib2, beautiful soup, Langchain. So I'm going to copy this link, uh, copy this uh, text, and then I'm going to go here in the new terminal and press enter. So the requirements are already satisfied in my case. So I'm going to close the terminal for now. Then next, uh, we need to add users in, the, in testing this app. Now you have created an app or a JSON file, and you're going to uh, you know, use this service, use this uh, service or 2.0 client ID. Now for that, you need to add uh, uh, an email for that. So this is the link showing. Uh, so you need to go to the console developers again, and then you need to click on the alt consent screen, click here. And then you need to add users. So I've added my email here, which is prompt.engineer48 at gmail.com. So I've added this, but if you want to add more, you can uh, do by this link here. So I first need to add this and this uh, gives the right to this email to use the features that we are going to use. So this step is done and the next step is we need to enable. Uh, so you're going to go to console, Google uh, console cloud.google.com. Then we're going to go to enable API and services. And then you're going to find the Gmail API that you have created and enable it. So I've already enabled it. So you can now disable it. But in your case, when you're doing it for the first time, going to have to enable this now having uh, done all these i think it is the right time to get started on the code now for the code we do this from langchain library we take this module agent and agent toolkits uh, we import the gmail toolkit class now we can start this instance of that so toolkit is equal to gmail toolkit and uh, uh, empty brackets here we import the operating system os and in the environment file we uh, save this key open ai underscore api underscore key and as the OpenAI API key. Now, how do you get this key? You go to platform.openai.com, log in through your account, then you go to API keys, uh, create a new secret key, create a secret key, and copy this and paste it in this location. Next, we are going to use uh, from Langchain import OpenAI. From Langchain.agents, we import the initialize agent and then the agent type. We start the OpenAI. So LLM is equal to OpenAI, temperature of zero. Temperature of zero means that 
it is very deterministic your LLM and if you set a very high temperature a maximum you can set it at one if you set it at as one then you will have a variety in your answer and it will be uh, uh, it will not be as deterministic uh, as it is when you put in zero here now agent we initialize the agent you use this we use the tools what are the tools the tools are the gmail toolkits then we get the tools whatever tools are available in the gmail toolkit we get the tools from there we use llm is equal to this llm which is open ai temperature zero we use the agent is equal to agent type structure chat zero shot reactive react description so use that now it's time to run so agent dot run i would like to create an email gmail draft for me to edit of a letter of a letter editor maybe to editor of a letter from the perspective of a sentient parrot who is looking to collaborate on some research with her a strange friend a cat under no circumstances you may send the mail however so we will have a look at the mail and then we are going to print could you search in my draft for the latest email so first we are going to create uh, the email and then you're going to check the draft of course we'll see the draft in our actual google um, email as well but for right now we can run this so we type python gmail.py we run it press enter then we are going to head over to my email which is this gmail and in the drafts we should see a mail appear so we see a draft here and let us read the draft so the draft is cat at a rate example.com collaboration opportunity dear name i hope this letter finds you well i'm writing to you in the hopes of rekindling our friendship and to discuss the possibility of collaborating on some research together I know that we have had our differences in the past, but I believe that we can put them aside and work together for the greater good. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, name. So this is the draft. And the next uh, command that we gave was print. Could you search in my draft for the latest email? So this is the latest email. The latest is, email is from prompt engineer 48 at gmail.com with the subject collaboration opportunity. The body of the email is this. I hope this letter find is useful. And uh, this. So in this way, you can integrate Gmail with Langchain and it's very easy. In just a few steps, you are able to link your Gmail and now you can just set it in some sort of an app and you can just send it mails, send mails via Gmail without even opening, uh, without even uh, having the need to go uh, to the to the Gmail and login into that because you have a JSON file uh, which has all the login details and such. So uh, this was a short video on how to integrate Gmail with Langchain. For more such interesting videos, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Like and share this video if you liked it. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.